The Effect of Temperature and Volume and Pressure by kscience.com These are gas particles at 22 degrees Celsius. The particles in a gas are constantly moving in different directions and at different speeds. So to increase the temperature of the particles in a gas, energy must be transferred into the internal energy stores of the particles. So as you can see here, by transferring energy into the internal energy stores of the particles, you transfer energy into the kinetic energy stores of the particles. This causes the particles to increase in speed and also increase in temperature. So if you increase the temperature of gas particles, you do this by increasing the energy transferred into the kinetic energy stores of the particles. This is going to increase the average temperature of the particles in a gas. And we've increased the average temperature of these gas particles from 22 degrees Celsius to 26 degrees Celsius. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This is a gas inside a sealed container. As you can see here, the gas is moving inside the sealed container. I've shown it change direction. This can only happen if it collides with another particle. This gas particle has now collided with the surface of the sealed container. And when a particle collides with the surface, it's going to exert a force. It's going to exert a force at a right angle to the surface. So as you can see here, the particle has collided with the surface of its container and it is reflected the force that is exerted is at right angles to the surface. And the force acting on a surface means there is a pressure. So the outward gas pressure of this particle is the force exerted on it by the particle. What I'm drawing here are many gas particles colliding on the surface of its container. And remember, the force acting on the sealed container surface is at a right angle perpendicular to the surface. And in a sealed container, the total outward gas pressure is the total force exerted on the unit area of the container walls by all of the particles in the gas. So the net pressure is due to the net force acting on the surface of the sealed container caused by the collisions of the particles on the sealed container. These eight particles inside this sealed container represent gas particles. And we're going to say that the mass of the gas is constant and the average temperature is 22 degrees Celsius. These blue lines represent the collisions between the particles and the surface of the container, with the lines at right angles to the surface represent the force exerted on the surface by the colliding particles. If energy is transferred into the kinetic energy stores of the particles, the particles are going to move faster. If you increase the kinetic energy of the particles, you're going to have increased collisions between the particles and the surface of the sealed container. We've increased the average temperature of the gas particles to 29 degrees Celsius. So the mass of the gas is constant and the volume of the container is constant. So the average temperature of the gas particles was increased from 22 degrees Celsius to 29 degrees Celsius. So there was an increased energy transfer into the kinetic energy store of the particles, which then increased the collisions between the particles and the surface walls of the container. Because there are now more collisions between the particles and the walls of the surface, there is now a larger net force acting on the surface. So if the net force acting on the surface increases, but the volume of the container does not change, there's going to be an increase in pressure acting on the surface of the sealed container. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. We've still got the same eight gas particles, but we've now decreased the volume of the 
sealed container. This here is a sealed container with a lower volume than the previous sealed container. But we've still got the same number of particles. So there are going to be more collisions because the volume is smaller. So there'll be more collisions between the particles and the surface. That means you're gonna have an increased net force acting on the surface of the sealed container, which has got a smaller volume. So if we now increase the volume of the sealed container, but keep the mass and the average temperature of the particles the same. So if we now increase the volume of the sealed container, but keep the average temperature, keep the mass of the particles the same, there are going to be fewer collisions between the particles and the surface of the sealed container, which means there's going to be a lower net force acting on the surface of the sealed container with a larger volume. So remember, this sealed container has a lower volume, which means there are going to be more collisions between the particles and the surface of the sealed container. So if there are increased collisions with the wall of the surface of the sealed container, that's going to lead to an increased net force, which is going to lead to an increased pressure acting on the surface of the sealed container. Whereas in this sealed container, we've increased the volume, but we've kept the mass of the particles and the temperature of the particles the same. There are going to be fewer collisions between the particles and the wall of the surface of the sealed container. There are going to be fewer collisions between the particles and the wall of the surface of the sealed container, which will lead to a lower net force acting on the surface of the sealed container, which will then lead to a lower pressure acting on the walls of the sealed container. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.